Introducing the first fight of the evening. He's coming from Belarus and Ukraine. Make some noise for Roman Kriklia. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is the third portion of tonight's event, the FIA World Grand Prix. And our first of two semifinal matches to crown the very first ever FIA World Heavyweight Champion. Ukraine versus Cameroon in this one. Zotne Rogova of Ukraine set to take on Daniel Lenke of Cameroon by way of France. And Roman Krilkia set to take on Thomas Hron. Here we go. Krilkia and Hron have met before on two separate occasions, and it is one victory apiece. So this is not only a rubber match, but it is the first semi-final matchup in the FIA World Grand Prix. And now introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Czech Republic. Make some noise up for Thomas Run. Longtime fighter, the grizzled veteran, the rattlesnake, Thomas Run. Just been just about everywhere in the world of kickboxing and has contended for the heavyweight championship everywhere he goes. Holds key victories over top fighters such as Anderson Silva, Errol Zimmerman, Daniel Sam, Catlin Morishano, Andre Stojka, and others. This is his first fight of 2018, but the last time he was in the ring, he had a victory over the man he's going to face right here, right now, Roman Kriklia. Ron says he knows this is not going to be easy. All three other fighters in the tournament are very strong, and so he's looking forward to a tough, action-packed evening here tonight in the World Grand Prix. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue quarter. Weighing 100 kilograms, height 2 meters, having a personal record of 36 fights, 31 wins and 5 losses. He's fighting for Belarus. Make some noise for Roman Krikia. And now presenting the red corner, weighing 107 kilogram, height 1.92 meters, having a personal record of 103 fights, 26 by knockout, three draw, and 18 losses. He's fighting for Czech Republic. Make some noise for Toss! Run! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first semi-final heavyweight bout. Three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Grosso Andre. You're fighting fear rules. I want to see a clean fight and obey my commands all the time. Good luck to you. Step back, step back. Just, just, just. Fight. Round one. Well, for sure these two are familiar with each other. This is the third time they've fought. Quickly a striking very powerfully to open things up. Moving nicely around the ring. Kron, 37 years old. And I can hear people talking under their breath, making comments on the internet that this guy's getting up there in age. You can see the gray hairs there. Don't let that fool you. He is still, still got it. Both these guys are very well-traveled. Fighters have been all over the world, all over Europe, China, over the Orient. You name it, they've been there. Every major kickboxing federation has been They've had that box ticked, but not here in FIA. Nobody has ever held the FIA Heavyweight Championship, but somebody is going to walk out of here 
making history and becoming the first ever champion. And believe me, that's the one that people remember. The people, the person who wins it the first time, they they basically, they're gonna go down in history. They'll be the ones referred to as the very first ones to do it. Anytime you can be the first one to do something in the world, it's a big thing. Sneaky little left uppercut there by the veteran. Ron is not only the oldest fighter in the tournament, but also the most experienced. You have to remember that. He's been around the block many, many times, and he's been in these tournaments before, as has Kriklia. He's a He seems like he's always in a tournament. It seems like if Kriklia is in the ring, he's in a tournament. And he's been in tournaments in so many different promotions all around the world, and has a lot of success as well. Won the Tatnef tournament in 2015. He's won that tournament twice. Lost in the finals of the Super Combat tournament in a bad decision. That a lot of people feel he should have won. Also, quickly, a very familiar with most of the fighters in this tournament. Not only has he fought Hron twice, but he's also fought Lentia several times. At least three times, and I believe he's won all those fights. Whoa, look out. Right hand comes across the face of Kriklia. Well, nearly a collision of heads there in the close quarters. Look at that power, that snap in the left hand there of Kriklia could cut right through you like a hot knife through butter, and he popped him with a right hand right on the belt. Be a president Doran Damir on hand at ringside next to uh, a man who I believe is still regarded as the interim light heavyweight champion glory, Pavel Zorava. Zorava has fought a number of times and has also actually won a tournament here. So, take a look at some highlights from round number one. Ripley is looking fantastic here. He's so crisp and powerful in his shots. Moving around the ring nicely. Guys, we will establish a champion here tonight, no matter what. The finals will take place at the end of the evening. It's only a matter of sorting out the semifinals right now. Second round, fight. Round two. Good kicks at a distance from both gentlemen. As I said, these two very familiar with each other. Kron won the last matchup in his home country of Czech Republic. That was in July of 2017. And before that, in China, in 2015, Kriklia won by knockout over Hron, so. Oh, wow, what a powerful right hand that followed up by a kick by the big man from the Czech Republic. Hron carrying a little extra weight around the midsection. But I'll tell you what, as I said, the most experienced fighter in there has had over 100 professional fights, whereas Krikli has only had about 36, so, whoa, cracking left hand there by Hron. Both guys know what it takes to be a champion in these kinds of tournaments. Some people say that, you know, you, you gotta strategically plan out how you're gonna go through the tournament, what your first fight's gonna look like, what your game plan is, if you're gonna go for the knockout early, try to get to the locker room early, rest up for the second one, or whether you're gonna go for the marathon kind of a strategy, just kinda play it out, pace yourself, don't use all your energy in the first fight, whoa! And other people say you cannot plan for a tournament, you just gotta go in there and fight your hardest for both fights and that's it, and just 
go for the win no matter what. Braun doing that right now, landing a number of powerful shots here in round number two. And looks like he's bleeding from the nose. Inside a minute now in round two. Kriklia picking him off from the outside. We saw another heavyweight contest earlier in the evening in the second portion of the card in the World Series. Where Miran Fabian came out on top in a very bizarre bout. So he may be next in line for a crack at the heavyweight championship. Whoever wins that title, never know. Interesting also that there are no Moldovan fighters in the tournament here. There's, there's, a, there's a lack of uh, heavyweight fighters here in Moldova. That's not stopping them from organizing this amazing tournament here tonight. There's four of the top fighters in the heavyweight division here. Wow, what a shot that was. Here comes Kriklia pouring it on here towards the end of the round after we heard that 10 second hammer come down. End of round two. As I said, there's no Moldovans in action here in this tournament. But uh, I, I really applaud the matchmakers at Kia for going ahead and making this tournament anyway. And if, if one heavyweight fighter does start to come up the ranks, I'm, I'm sure that they would be happy to see that. But if not, these fans here in Moldova, man, these are these are very passionate, educated, smart fans. They can appreciate kickboxing. They love their local fighters, but they also have a lot of respect for the foreigners, and they love watching the best of the best. That's what you're getting here in this tournament. I've seen it on so many occasions before. Round three. The fans just uh, really showing respect to the foreign fighters. And here we go. Business starting to pick up here in round three. Kriklia finds the liver. Wow, look at the extension that he gets on the legs up there. He's such a flexible fighter is Kriklia for a heavyweight. He's very thin, heavyweight, very tall. Only weighed in at 100 kilos. This is 93 kilos and over. Hron at 107 officially. And quickly up officially also seven, seven or eight centimeters, I believe, taller than Hron. You can see the blood still clogging up the nostrils there from the Czech fighter. Ooh, wow, look at that. Huge collision there between these two. Both guys are a little bit bigger of a sense of urgency here in round number three. The winner will still have nine more potential minutes inside the ring later tonight. Another big exchange there between these two. We have seen knockouts in the past when these two have been in the ring with each other. So it's not completely out of the question. Fortune favors the brave. The slogan for this tournament. <clears throat> wow. What a cracking shot downstairs that was as quickly a falls into his opponent there. guys too I'm tell you what when they move around like that and they start to get as active as they are here in round number three that really is going to use a lot of your reserves keep in mind they still got to fight another fight too so they've done a good job of pacing themselves thus far but now they are really getting down to the business here <clears throat> what a left hand there by Kriklia Back into the ropes, comes right after Hahn with a knee. 
Braun back with kicks. Brings it upstairs that time. And another one. Crickly gives it right back. End of the fight. Well, Doran Danner now discussing what he has just witnessed here. As he awaits the decision, a very intrigued look on his face. And I'm also intrigued to see which way this one is going to go. It was a slow start in rounds one and two. And then it really came alive in round number three. Now, the worst possible situation that, that these two can have right now is if this thing is so close that it goes an extra round, which is for sure a possibility. Let's take another look here at round number three. This is a much more active round between these two, both guys with a number of significant strikes landing during that round, and that's going to be a big factor in the judging of this contest is those significant strikes. I'll tell you what, when you're a 107 kilos, <laughs> basically everything you throw is significant. Wow, what a battle. Have they found a winner, or are we going to go three more minutes? Who will advance to the finals? of the first ever FIA World Grand Prix. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is, by unanimous decision, for the blue corner, Robo!